30.3 water movement in plants. All right, back to vascular tissue. So we have two types of vascular tissue. We have the xylem and the phloem. For water movement, we're going to be focusing on the xylem in vascular tissue. Now, as we recall, uh, the vascular tissue is made up of a xylem and a phloem divided by a cambium or the vascular cambium. So in a uh, vascular bundle, we have the xylem, which is this inner part in orange, and then we have the phloem in the brown. You can see here, again, vascular cambium is going to move water in one direction from the roots to the tips of the plants. Here's a vascular cambium, and then we have the phloem, which can move the sap in either direction. Now, water in a plant is going to move from the roots to the tips of the plant. Now, this process is called transpiration because the water is going to evaporate from the top of the plants, which will pull the water up from the roots. Now, the water flows um, through two types of cells in a plant. The xylem is made up of tracheids and vessel elements or vessel members. They're both tubular, elongated, and dead at maturity. They're found in all vascular plants. Now, I said that they're dead at maturity. So when the inside of the cell dies and disintegrates, the cell's thickened cell walls um, remain behind and now water can flow through them. So these cell walls of both the tracheid and the vessel member um, are lignified. So they're hardened and now the insides are dead so that is a nice channel for which water can flow through. Now the secondary walls of the uh, tracheids um, have thinner regions called pits where only primary walls are present so there's no lignin there and the water can move between the pits what we can see here. Now tracheids are long and thin and tapered so tapered means they come to a point or they narrow kind of like skinny jeans I guess. Um, now the secondary walls as I mentioned are hardened with lignin and this prevents collapse under tensions of water transport. Now the vessel elements are shorter, wider, and they're thinner walled. Uh, they are aligned end to end like this. Um, the ends are perforated, which means they have holes, and this allows water to pass freely between them. So we look at some pictures. Here's a real uh, plant. We have the tracheids, which are smaller, and then we have the vessel elements. Now the tracheids are, um, the waters pass through pits, which are these little, um, holes in them and the vessel elements um, go right from end to end. Here are the pits in the uh, tracheids and here is a vessel member. It's shorter, wider and the walls are thinner. There's the perforations at the tip of the vessel elements that the water can pass through. Okay. Now the co cohesion tension theory is saying, uh, explaining how the water from the roots is going to get moved up uh, to the top of the plant. Now, because water is so fantastic with its hydrogen bonds, um, when some water molecules are going to evaporate from the surface of the plant, the hydrogen bonds between them kind of uh, pull the water molecules up. So as some uh, water leaves, the water gets pulled this way because of hydrogen bonding. So that keeps the flow of water in one direction from the roots to the tips.